one of the last videos, I showed this drag device dragging the sand in and so I could level my turf. So I built this drag probably about two years ago out of angle iron and C channel. So I patterned this tool after something I saw on the inner screen and I decided that I wanted to make something like this so I could have a nice flat smooth surface. So the goal with this is to have something wide and so that something could, that could span over the bumps and the low spots and smooth it out over a long distance. I love this drag. I don't use it very often. I only use it maybe once or twice a year, but when I use it, it's awesome. So this drag is exactly 10 foot long, okay? And then it is, it is exactly 20 inches across. So this distance is one inch from here to here, and then from here to here, it's two inches, okay? And then I've got a piece of two inch angle iron right here. So this is exactly two inch angle iron from right here in the middle, and then I've got a piece of C-channel down here. So I only bought two pieces of steel. I bought a piece of C-channel that was 20 foot long, two inches long, and then by one inch across, and then I bought a piece of angle iron that was 20 foot long that was two by two angle iron. Right? So all I did was take the piece of C-channel, cut it exactly in half at 10 foot long, and then I took the piece of angle iron, cut that in half at 10 foot long, so I've got 10, 20, 30 feet of metal, C-channel, angle iron, C-channel. And then I took the other piece of 10 foot C-channel and I could get one, two, three, four, five, six pieces at 20 inches out of that 10 foot section. So then I just welded these cross members across like that to keep it rigid. So it's 20 inches long, 10 foot wide. So if you can see right here, I. I put a washer or a spacer in there and that gives me about an eighth inch gap. So the pieces of C channel are exactly about one eighth inch lower than these pieces right here. So if you see this angle iron, I welded that straight on there like that. So I put a washer here, 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 here. So everywhere there's a piece of C channel, I put a washer in between this angle iron bracket and this piece of C channel right here. So if you can see the the gap right here, it's about an eighth inch off the ground. So this one, this piece, and this piece ride lower and they kind of drag and then some of the sand will get in here and it'll kind of float under there to the back. This is just a section eight inches across or 10 inches I think. This fits a cinder block. I could put, I think two cinder blocks right here. I can't remember. And then this little piece right here will hold the blocks on there. And I did that so I could have some extra weight. I wanted this thing to be kind of weighted down. So I had these extra carabiners laying around and so I can put this carabiner on any hole in any direction so I can hook up a chain or a rope or something to drag it. I just kind of planned to put the carabiner on the end like this and then hook up a chain to the four-wheeler or ATV device. If I was to do this again, I would probably make this about 30 inches wide instead of 20 because if I have a big pile of sand that I'm trying to drive over and the drag will actually flip over like this. So I have to get off the machine and flip it over. That happens quite regularly. That actually only happens in the beginning when there's piles or mounds of sand from the wheelbarrow or from the wagon. So if you kind of have them already flat, you don't really have any problems with it flipping over but I would kind of like to add a another 10 inches if I was to build this again. So you can run this uh, drag in either direction. You can run with the C towards you, or you can run with the flat section and pull it that direction or this direction. That's why I put these two holes on there, one on either side, so I could drag it whatever way I wanted to. I bought two sticks of 20 foot material that probably cost maybe 50, $60 or something like that. And then I had my neighbor weld it up for me. He's got a chop saw. So I cut up all the pieces with his chop saw and kind of arranged it all and we clamped it together and then he just welded it for me. So I had some other people say, hey, why don't you use the drag mat? You know, the steel mat is maybe four foot wide by four foot. So I thought about using those steel mats, but I've, I've had some other people in some other places tell me that the steel mat kind of contours down into the low spots and actually 
drags the sand up and out of the low spot. And so they kind of didn't like it for certain reasons or certain things. My purpose of doing this whole thing is to level my lawn, to make it super smooth and flat like a pool table. That's the whole point of this deal for me. So I want something long and rigid. I, I don't want something that flexes. Um, something that flexes would be really good for dragging the sand down into the holes, but not so good for leveling for me. I'm sure those things work fantastic and great, but for me, I just like this long, drag device here and it works great. So the next thing I really want to do with this thing is get some broom heads, several of them, maybe six or eight or ten of them, and mount them to the top side of this thing and then I could turn it over upside down and drag it around. I've seen those videos on YouTube and they are awesome. I would really love to be able to drag the thing around and just use the brooms to kind of broom in the sand to the holes. So I'd use the underside to distribute the sand, and then I'd use the top side with the brooms to kind of broom in the sand and ex to expose the grass blades. So if you guys appreciate the information I've given you in this video on this drag, like the video down below and subscribe to my channel so you can see other things that I do with my lawn and other things that I'm doing in my life. So I appreciate you guys watching my videos and I will see you in the next video.